The half-life of strontium-90 is about 28 years. How long will it take a 36 milligram sample of strontium-90 to decay to 30 milligrams? Let's begin with the function that models exponential decay. And that is P of T equals P naught e to the kt power, where P naught is the initial amount, k is the exponential rate of decay, and t is the time, in this case measured in years. Now step one is to use the half-life information to find the exponential rate of decay, k. In this case, the initial amount, P naught, is 36. So if we substitute that into the formula, we have 36 e to the k is what we're looking for, times t. But we know in 28 years, when t is 28, the initial amount will decay to half. That's what half-life means. So half of 36 will be 18 milligrams. Substituting in the half-life information, the only variable left is k. And then we can solve for that. Let's begin by isolating the exponential expression here. We can do that by dividing both sides by 36. 18 divided by 36 is 1 half. And that will be equal to e to the k times 28 power. Now at this point, we'll apply the 1 to 1 property for logarithms. And since the base here is e, I'll choose to apply the natural log to both sides. And we have the natural log of 1 half then equals the natural log of e to the k times 28 power. Now we do that so that we can apply the power rule for logarithms, and then we can write this exponent as a coefficient. Now on the left side here, I'm going to also apply the quotient rule for logarithms. And that is equivalent to the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of 2 equals k times 28 times the natural log of e. Now the natural log of 1 is 0, so we're just left with negative natural log of 2 equals k times 28. Dividing both sides by 28, we have negative the natural log of 2 divided by 28 is equal to k. That's our rate of decay. Notice if we did this on a calculator, you would see a negative result. Now the next step is to use k and p naught to construct a mathematical model. And in this case, the amount of strontium-90 is a function of time. And that equals your initial amount, p naught, e to the k, which we just determined is negative natural log of 2 divided by 28 times t. Now we'll use this model to answer the question. How long will it take the sample to decay to 30 milligrams? So we'll replace P of T with 30 milligrams, and that leaves us with only one variable here, T. We can solve for T. Let's begin by dividing both sides by 36. And so 30 divided by 6 reduces to 5 sixths equals e to the negative natural log of 2 divided by 28 times t power. Now at this point we'll apply the 1 to 1 property for logarithms. And again we'll choose the natural log. And we can write the natural log of 5 sixths equals the natural log of e to the negative natural log of 2 divided by 28 times t power. Now at this point we can then apply the product rule for logarithms and write this exponent as a coefficient. And since the natural log of e is equal to 1, we have the natural log of 5 sixths equals negative natural log of 2 divided by 28 times t. Now at this point we can solve in a number of ways. If we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction, we can get t in one step. And so doing that, on the left side here we have negative 28 times the natural log of 5 sixths 
divided by the natural log of 2. And on the right side, the natural log of 2 cancels, and the 28s cancel. Negative times negative leaves us with positive t. Okay, so this is our exact answer. On a calculator, this rounds off to approximately 7.4, or 7.4 years. And so it'll take approximately 7.4 years for the initial sample to decay to 36, or actually 30 milligrams.